What does it truly mean to be well? What is our vocabulary? What are our theories of wellness? I'm Deborah Jensen, director of the Franklin Humanities Institute at Duke University. The humanities train people to think around questions of the human condition. The conference focuses on the humanities, social justice, and health. How the humanities are transforming health and how health is in turn transforming the humanities. It will not just be scholarly panels, you'll be engaging and learning new practices and skills, whether it's around breathing techniques, such as the Alexander technique in drama, new areas of specialization like narrative medicine. Medical students and healthcare providers are trained to engage with patients by really understanding their stories. Graphic medicine, to feel comfortable drawing and doing role play. The grandmothers were right about everything. Poet Nikki Finney, a lyrical voice of social justice in the American South, will read from her work. This will be a powerful experience of poetry in our bodies with local poet Alexis Pauline Gums. There are ways in which the clinical environment sometimes makes people feel more like a statistic or more like a diagnosis than like a fully dimensional human being. Duke University is a perfect laboratory to consider that decentering of the clinic. Healthcare providers and students will learn how to engage patients' stories, patients from different cultures and language traditions about social inequities and health disparities. We'll also explore health and its environments, pollution and toxicity, and the uneven impact of food deserts, respiratory health burdens by class, zip codes and neighborhoods, how the environment creates epigenetic challenges on health. We'll be learning about patient-powered research and advocacy, about non-Western and non-biomedical genealogies and practices. We learn to increase our strength by relying on others who have a great deal to offer our own search for knowledge and our own need to be therapeutic in our search for knowledge.